Hi guys, from the previous videos in this series, we created an almost anatomically correct head sculpture uh, of a, a basic generic male. So in this video, we're going to look at sculpting the fine details and polishing this character to make it look final. So that you can go ahead and show it off on places like ArtStation or Sketchfab or even your own YouTube channel. So before I go ahead and get started, I may as well let you know all the assets that I will be downloading for this uh, tutorial. So the first one. So the first one is the Pixelogic ZBrush Download Center. So I found a bunch of uh, alpha images. If you just scroll down and look for skins, I went ahead and downloaded some skin alpha textures. In particular, I downloaded the one called, um, where is it? So I went ahead and downloaded Skin 02, uh, Wrinkles 05, and Skin 03. Another one I want to let you guys know about is uh, FlippedNormals.com. And if you look for skin pores over here, these ones are paid. But generally, paid ones can actually give you higher quality results. But nevertheless, for this tutorial, I'm not using any paid alpha textures or anything like that. Everything is free. And at this stage, I'm pretty happy to declare it as ready for the polishing and refining stage. So whenever you create your own 3D models, don't ever go to the refining stage where you go ahead and add in all those pores and wrinkles and um, details to the lips and everything until you get all the proportions and the anatomy and everything right. At this stage, you're not going to be making any major changes. Everything will just be little tweaks and fixes. Okay. So for the overall form and shape of the body, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I'm just going to quickly go to the grab tool by hitting G on my keyboard and then just uh, dragging this bit up over here just to and, uh, make the collarbone a little bit more visible and bumping out on the skin a bit more. Okay, um, and in terms of everything else, I think that's looking fine. We are lacking details here, but that's fine. doesn't matter. So now let's go ahead and start to add in those fine grain details for the uh, face. Next thing we want to do is we want to sculpt in little wrinkles here and there. So let's go to shift C or just click crease. That should do the same thing. And then we're simply just going to draw in little creases where it will normally occur on a man. Now note that if it's a younger character, you don't need to uh, draw in these little creases. If it's an older character, you probably need to draw in more creases. So I'm sort of going in somewhere between like a middle-aged kind of a character. So maybe for this one, let's use Dino, Dino Turbo. Uh, detail size, let's keep it at 6. Should be fine. And let's just draw in little details like that. And make him add in... Make him look a little bit serious by creasing these areas. Okay, I'm just going to rely on some reference images online just to uh, see what it looks like. I'll just hit S and then just smooth this part out. I think it's a little bit overbearing. Let's go ahead and add in another little crease over here. Like so. And there's a couple of creases that go over here. Okay, let's go here and smooth these bits out. Draw in some wrinkles here as well. Sorry.
I think I'll turn off the um, symmetry here just to break it up a little If you're going for a, like a really really old man then you need to uh, add in a lot more wrinkles and a lot more fine details than what I've done here but I'm, I'm probably going to stick to sort of like a middle-aged type of man so I think I'll stop it uh, stop it at here I think I might also go ahead and draw in the wrinkles on the lips as well so let's go shift C I'd also highly recommend that you download some wrinkle brushes uh, for the lips as well but for this case I'm just, I'll just do it manually so make the brush quite small and for the detail size three pixels is uh, very very detailed enough so to zoom in quite a lot and then just to draw in these um, lip lines but for this one I, I am going to refer to uh, images from Google so close I'll just search up close up of lips it's on my other screen so I'm just using any real reference over here and then just pretty much just copy as you see it turn off the x-axis mirror because I think that will uh, we, we can we can break the symmetry when it comes to sculpting these details. I don't think we intend to animate or anything like that, so it should be fine. So just drawing these little lines over here. Over here, the lines are a little bit more prominent. Um, for this crease, I'm probably going to change the fall off from smooth to maybe sharp. So we want sharper creases over here. Okay, and then we'll zoom in and we'll add in little bits of creases over here. Alright, cool. So in terms of the sculpting of the lips, I think that's now good enough. I'll just change the stroke back from, sorry, the fall off back from sharp to smooth again. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to sculpt in the uh, paws of the character. So for this one, I'm going to be using a draw brush, and this is where we will be making use of the images that we downloaded earlier. So under texture, go ahead and click new, and we'll call it the uh, pause one. Okay, something like that. Then directly in the texture properties tab of the properties window, go ahead and load an image of the pause that we downloaded uh, from the internet. So one of these ones. So let's start with maybe skin pore 02. So if I draw now, we can sort of see the pores coming through, but it doesn't look quite right. First of all, it's um, uh, it's sort of like tiling. Like you can see this image over here, it's just tiling across the face over here, which is not correct. So to fix this tiling part, all you need to do is under texture, change the mapping from tiled to something like view plane or area plane. Both should be okay. And you can sort of see now that it just drags the same image texture um, around like so so that's looking good and dandy so let me just quickly just draw a few more around this area okay so I'll probably do this part in time lapse because this part is slow and boring I could go on and on, but I think I'll stop it at that. When it comes to sculpting in these wrinkles and pores and things like that, 
I feel like you'll have a much easier time doing that using the um, multi-resolution modifier, if I can find that somewhere. This uh, this multi-resolution modifier, that method. I'll probably show you that in another tutorial. But I think for this polishing phase, I'll call it good. So just to finish off this model, the last thing I will do is change this to uh, display smoothly. Because we don't want to see any of these little mesh details over here, or even these ones. So in done topo, go ahead and click that one and click smooth shading. It will be a little slow, but eventually we will have what appears to be our final model. These parts don't look that smooth. So let me just go ahead and make it smaller. I don't want any textures. So I make it a little bigger. Just to break up the uniformity of this, I'm just going to make it smooth in some parts, but not so smooth in others. Alright, so that's it. That's the basics of how to sculpt a realistic head sculpture using Blender and its sculpting tools. In the next video, we'll go ahead and uh, set this up for lighting and rendering.